to a brand new series of Minecraft. I'm Paint and this is gonna be good. So I am on a brand new server, a uh, new mod pack I've never played before with Ira and the rest of her server crew. And um, I'm gonna bring you in and show you our getting started. So I will be back in just a minute after you go take a look at that. Um, so first of all, Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. This is really exciting. I've got this many people on at the same time. Never managed to get the time zones synced up in this way, and it's very exciting. So yay! Yay! Um, I'm excited about this pack. It's not very well known, but it looks like it's pretty well put together. It's pretty lightweight, actually, but it seems like the mods that have been chosen are well chosen and they fit together nicely. And yeah, so there's, there's lots of goals and things to do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys will figure all that out. You'll notice uh, that I've got three big kind of things here set up. Uh, three kind of walls with signs on them. These are for the groups. I'm thinking we'll have kind of two main groups and a spawn group. I know some people wanted to work on a couple of things at spawn. But I want to, right at the start here... Yay, Nuggets joined us. Yay, you made it! <laughs> um, right at the start here, I want to set the tone. That this is, I want this to be a community server. We can work together in groups, make group bases, and um, if somebody really wants to be a hermit and run off on their own, I mean, you could do that, but I would like to encourage group play and cooperation. And even though we're going to be in separate groups, I don't want to think of them as separate teams. I don't want this to be a competitive thing. There's lots and lots of places out there you can go to scratch the competitive itch, but I'd rather that this server be, be more oriented towards cooperation. And having fun together. So yay! Yeah. Um, in that spirit, I'd like to have kind of balanced groups. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I lost mine. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Put it away. In order to have kind of balanced groups so that we don't have like, you know, one group of real power players who do everything in the game and then get bored, and then one group of really casual players who never really get anywhere. Um, I'd like the groups to be kind of uh, varied and balanced. So we'll have like you know, each group will have at least one kind of power player who's worried about progression and technology and stuff, and maybe like a builder in each group who can make everything pretty. And of course, most of us are not in the extremes. We kind of are in the middle somewhere. And I haven't seen everybody play very much, so I don't necessarily know enough to judge who should be in a group together. And that is why I have created all these little things over here. <laughs> You'll notice that I'm wearing some armor. Some not terribly colorful armor because um, I'm very neutral. Um, what I've done is I set up See, for each piece of that. armor a trait. And I'd like everybody to come and read the signs and choose which category you think suits yourself best. Uh, only take the balanced one if you're like really halfway, like 50 50. But if you tend one way or the other, take the colored ones. And then once we've got everybody's colored armor on, then we can use that to divide into groups and make sure like one group isn't all builders or something like that, or isn't all uh, power players and stuff. Hopefully this will work. This is why I was asking if anybody was colorblind. I hope nobody is colorblind. <laughs> and if anyone is colorblind, I hope that the colors I've chosen have enough of a contrast. <laughs> I've kind of tried to put the red the red ones as being the more hardcore type of traits and the blue ones as being the more casual type of traits just generally so it'll be very interesting I noticed that Yasmin is dressed in all red if we have <laughs> to expect <laughs> really me, me, me and 99 blocks we're, we're in the white and blue over here on, on the, uh, the power player versus casual player how many hours would a power player be um, I, I don't know enough to put a number on it. If you, if you expect to be on the server frequently and spending a lot of time here by your own standards, then go ahead and take the red, and otherwise you can take so the So for me, one. that might be like three to four hours a day. Yeah. That would definitely qualify as power player, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're planning to be on the server every day, go ahead and take power player. By my standards, that's even if you're just on for 20 minutes, that's more than I'll have time for. I see mom in all blue. All blue. And I don't like blue. I don't like blue. This is temporary. We can take it <laughs> okay. off after. We're just going to use this to sort ourselves into teams. 
Your head is doing right. funky things on my screen here. It's glitching out. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll see if we can fix oh, that. Oh, oh, no, that's that's something. That was something too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that was a glitch. Nope. All right. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna head up a group, and uh, I'll probably have kind of a casual outlook on the game, but I welcome at least one kind of more power player to to join me as well, so that I don't get left in the dust. If anyone wants to be, I really like having nice, pretty structures as well. If somebody wants to be a, a dedicated builder or spend a lot of time on building, you're welcome to join me. Well, um, I have to be on your over team. Over here is the spawn group. You. Uh, anyone who wants to work on spawn can start out here, but you're also welcome to join one of the other groups. You don't have to just be at spawn and be all on your own. Also, all of the chats for the different groups are going to be open and public so that, you know, if somebody wants to go back and forth between the groups or wants to change groups, that's fine. You don't have to. Um... Again, it's not a competition. They're not teams. They're just groups. So we'll have, like, two different bases to start with. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be here. I know Mom's going to be with me, and I know Jan's going to be with me. Because I'm probably only going to play when I play with you, so... Right. Group 2 seems to have a lot of power players. <laughs> yeah, I'm noticing all the power players in one spot. We want to make sure, for example, that each group has at least one person who doesn't mind doing some building. read the sign. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For building well, spawn going... and building the railroad system, it's going to go between the bases. Yeah, I'm planning on building a railroad system. We're just sorting ourselves into initial groups. So, oh, I, 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 I was going to always move around thing. later. Oh, I was going to say, I suppose it would be a good thing to have somebody with some blue and white on the red team, so I guess I'll be over here. All right. Okay. Yay. <laughs> yeah, right. we don't want to have a blue team and a red team, because then it's not going to go. It's not going to go. <laughs> there, <be> terrible. <laughs> Someone's working on the railroad stuff. I might work on doing some, like... Yeah, all the live long day. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll go over here for now. <laughs> All right, cool. Great. These again, these are just the initial groups. Like we can, you can move back and forth. You can, you can, you know, be in more than one group. This is just to get started. Um, I have a spot already picked out because obviously I have the advantage of having been on the server for a while today, and I picked out a spot where I want to start my group space. Um, other group, you can go and explore, or if you want, I actually have an exported map of quite a large area around spawn. If you want to take a look, I can send that to somebody in Discord. It's up to you if you want to have it spoiled or not. Um, and yeah, I think we've got mine colonies in here, uh, and it's the 1.12 version of mine colonies with some. It's got much better features than the 1.10 version. Uh, we've got immersive engineering, and we've got um, what's what's the mod that lets you go to the moon? Advanced rocketry, I think. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, advanced rocketry. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's advanced that sounds was... really cool. Hmm. That sounds really cool. Moon. Yeah. Oh, we're going. We're go going. Speak. Where is it? I go. Right it's now? The, okay, it's gone away. There's, we can't see the moon now. We're going to the moon, eventually. Yeah, yeah. It... Oh, we, he has been on our team. Okay, we're going to the moon. We'll <laughs> <laughs> be there in a few hours. Yeah, by the end of this evening, we'll be on the moon. Uh, no, I don't think so, time. but um, let's see what we got. Cool. All right, uh, only other announcement I wanted is regarding the dragon I'd like to do the dragon all together as a community event either next weekend or the weekend after or sometime we can get as many people as possible so please don't go to the end just yet anything else you want to do if you want to go to the nether if you want to go to the moon whatever you want to do have at it enjoy and I think that's all for me does anyone else want to say anything or make any announcements or greet their stream viewers or, or tell mom to come back here or <laughs> But that's what I do. I wander. She does. Yeah. Jen, don't. <laughs> She's looking for new pets. Um, now where? Are I am we? looking. Oh, like yes, the, I want to be the pet keeper. The <laughs> do we, we don't have a specific place that we're setting up bases. I was answering a stream question when I we were talking at one point. Um, I, I missed something. I've chosen a spot that I want to set up my base, but there's not an assigned spot for other other spots. Right here is obviously spawn, so the spawn group will probably start right here. Uh, but you guys, you can either go off wandering, or if you want, uh, I can send you a copy of a map which goes a thousand blocks in every direction around spawn. And you can pick a nice place from there. Okay. Whoa. I think I'm going to jump over for exploring and stuff first up, but I'll be back to help with spawn stuff. <laughs> Alright. I promise, guys. 
Sounds fun. All right, what I'm going to do now, if there's, is there any other questions, comments? Nope. Yeah, how do I set, how do I set, how do I set a spot? Oh, oh, it's doing weird things. What's going on? Anyone That's else? common for me. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. It's, it's been a while, Mom. I'm it's been that. a while. Okay, those are some explosions for you. Um, it's just my mom. There we go. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now, then, is I'm going to go onto my Discord server, and I'm going to open the group chats up to the public. There's a voice chat and a text chat for each group. So everyone can, as soon as you see it, you can move to your group's voice chat. And, and Jen... <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Nothing. <laughs> no, actually, I want right, to I'm gonna go do that right now. The spawn city, just a little bit. Uh, as soon as we're set up on our base in the That's Arovia. Fine. That's fine. You can help. You can help set up spawn. I'll definitely right. drop down um, by the spawn. I have now. to mess with my settings now on Discord, so don't mind me. You guys chat away if you want. Okay. Well, I feel like I'd enjoy taking over one of the lost cities and turning it into like a. Like an actual proper settlement sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And the, the Lost us. Cities, by the way, the uh, the map generation is I tweaked the settings manually, so the cities will be pretty rare, but they should have better loot in them. They should have, or like maybe not significantly better, but they should have um, like more. Each building should be more likely to have chests in it, and the chest should be more likely to have loot in it. All right. Well, since all that, um, I am on the spawn crew. So I'll take you around and show you what I've uh, what I've done. So you can see I've got a set of tools. You see my armor here from the group that I picked and my loadout. Um, well, yeah, take a quick eat. What I am working on right now is mine colonies. And mine colonies, what it does is you start out with this camp thing, which I've half torn to pieces to get the parts of. Um, but then from there you can make your own little village. And the village is really cool because it actually does things. So you have little villagers. Oh, and I've also got a teammate. Um, it does things and, oh yeah, there's a cave right under me. So that's where some of the baddies are. Uh, let's see if I can find, uh, find some of my villagers to see what they're doing. Don't see. I've got a lumberjack. And she lives around here. Um, see if I can find some more villagers. This is my builder. He's the one who builds the cities. Right now, I bet they're probably all in here. Or not. Let's see. Why can I not? This isn't good. I should be able to access my village. Um, there may have been some updates to this, but anyway, normally I'd have a builder here who does things, but I can't get into any of this. Oh, I can break things, that's good. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out why I can't get into my village. Cause that's not supposed to happen. And I don't know where my villagers are. Anyway, um, so I have a builder who builds things. This is another builder that I've half torn down. I have to tear that the rest of the way down. This is the town hall here. This is kind of the central hub to control all the people and get things done. Um, I have to figure out where they all went because it used to be here. This is the baker. And the baker, you give them wheat and they make bread, which is really good because in this pack, bread is not easy to make. You have to go the long way around with Pam's. This is my warehouse, or our warehouse, for the whole server. Um, right now, not much in it, because this thing right here is the delivery person. And they run around and deliver stuff that's needed to all the different locations. So now, I've got to figure out um, what happened to my village. And see if I can get it fixed. Hopefully, uh, let me just answer this real quick. Uh, hopefully I can figure out how to respawn them, and if not, this should be pretty easy to just break all the parts and put them back and have that fix. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I'll probably be putting out videos of this every week or so. 
uh, getting things going really good. And um, that way you'll be able to see some really good, fast progress as things go. I can tell you my plans right now, once I get these villages fixed, is I want to... Uh, I want to get a miner, and I want to get a farmer, and I want to get a, um, let's see, I've got a baker. Yeah, miner and farmer right now are what I'm working towards. Um, but then there's other things, there's a smelter and all sorts of stuff that these people can do. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, probably just a pretty short video. So thank you so much for joining me on this brand new Adventure into Colonial Engineers. That's the name of the mod pack. Um, yeah, so I will, uh, I'm gonna get to work and have a fantastic day.